Hi, KSYO students. My name is William Shaw. I'm the concert master of the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra. And we are all so disappointed that the spring KSYO season has been canceled. However, it's really fantastic that we can continue to practice and continue on our musical journey right at home. And while we're practicing, one of the things that I want you to think about, something that I think about every day, is the importance of practicing scales. They are fundamental to violin playing and to string playing. And for all the string players out there, you can practice these scales as well. So today we're going to be covering three scales. Um, each one is a little bit different in terms of difficulty, um, and they address different technical issues. But these are scales that I personally practice very frequently. Um, I always like to say I try to not let it go past 9 a.m. without practicing my scales. I hope these are as beneficial to you as they have been to me. So this very first scale um, is going to be an A major, and it's a three octave scale, and it's four notes per bow, all slurred, and what we want to look for is smooth bow changes. So we want to get a little bit louder towards the tip of the bow, and a little bit softer as we go toward the frog. So a nice crescendo toward the tip, and a diminuendo toward the frog. Let's try that. This next scale is also an A major, and this is a great exercise for articulation at the frog and switching from an on the string stroke to an off the string stroke. So it's just two slurred and then two separate, with the two separate notes being both on an up bow. So I like to practice the scale in two different ways. The first way is using the big muscle, so thinking about the full arm and a little bit of the shoulder uh, to get a clear articulation, and the second way is just with the fingers so that we can practice some finger flexibility in the right hand. So let's try that. previous two scales, um, the use of vibrato was kept to a minimum, and the reason for that is so that we can really listen for intonation. But I find that in this next scale, um, we have a great exercise in developing a vibrato that is even, and we even add a little bit of a rhythmic element to it. And um, I hope you find this beneficial as well. So the idea is we'll continue in A major, and um, over top our vibrato, we will add a little bit of a trill. So we'll add four trills over each note, and we want a nice, even vibrato connecting through the notes. Let's try that. And so on. I hope that these scales encourage you to keep practicing and just know that your KSO musicians are practicing right along with you. Happy practicing!